Greetings and welcome to part two of our series using Bible Music Writer. In part one, we loaded Psalms 126 onto the Bible Music Writer. We have the notes here on the staff from Psalms 126. Now one option that we have, we can mouse over here to the blue play all button and we can actually hear the notes played. And this box with the play all button actually tells us how many notes are being played and the total notes uh, that are on the staff. So now we want to take the notes we've written and we're going over to MuseCore. You can download this from MuseCore.com. That's M-U-S-C-O-R-E.com. And that program will allow you to actually orchestrate the notes that we have here. So our next step is we're going to go up to the file box on the top left of the BMW program. We're going to click on File and a box drops down. We go down to the export box and we scroll over to MIDI. We click on as MIDI and the file box will come up. It's asking us for the file name. I'm going to call this BMW song and I'm going to add Psalm 126. And click Save. Then we'll go ahead and minimize at the top our BMW box. We'll go down on our desktop to the Start menu. We'll go to All Programs. We'll go up to MuseCore. And we'll click on MuseCore. MuseCore is opening. We go to the top left with the mouse, click on File. And then we click on open recent BMW song then we click at the top the second folder load score from file click on my documents The end of my documents here on the list is BMW Psalm 126. We click there, go down and click open, click OK on the import box that comes up, and we see now that Psalm 126, the notes are now loaded on the MuseCore program. That's a little bit small to read, so we can go up to the top at the percentage button up here. Let's go, let's go 150%. There, that, that's much easier to read. So now we have our notes loaded for Psalm 126 on the Muse Core program. And now we can start to make adjustments. Uh, notice this automatically loads in 4-4 time. If we want to change the timing, we go up to the top of the MuseCore uh, screen. <coughs> Excuse me. On Create, and we can change here our bar lines, our clefs, our keys, our time signatures. So it has total flexibility of the changes we would like to make. When we want to begin to add harmonies here, we can go up here to the toggle 
the end button on the third row here. That's the toggle button. And you notice a blue line comes up. And now I can add under any note that I click on. I can add a harmony below it. I can adding some more harmony here. I'm picking random notes just for a sample. I can also click on any note and I can change the I can change the time of any note up here at the top. For instance, if I want to change this note to an eighth note, I can. And so then we can also play what I have just done. So you can see how MuseCore gives you total flexibility for orchestrating from the BMW program.